Here I am going to talk about the vertical chop technique. This is a case of dense nuclear cataract plus 3 and more. I started by 2.2 clear corneal incision, then filling the antechamber with the OVD and starting the rexes, which is nice, about 5.5 millimeter. Before starting the hydrodissection, it's very important to decrease the pressure from the antechamber by uh, slightly empty this uh, from the OVD and the uh, complete hydrodissection is a crucial step in this technique uh, and always uh, I prefer to uh, use a viscodissection as you will see now to be sure that uh, you lift up the cortex as you can see now and the nucleus from the nucleus then doing two side ports using the MVR and before starting, uh, I will rotate the nucleus to be sure that I have a good and complete hydrodissection, as you can see now. And now the uh, chopping will start it. I start by vacuum of the cortex and anterior epinucleus, then impale the nucleus with the FECO tip, use a very sharp pointed tip chopper that descends right into the nucleus and creating a fracture that we extend all the way back through the posterior plate then with sideways separation of the tip, the nucleus bisect completely in a half and this process is repeated as you can see over and over till the nucleus becomes progressively smaller it looks like uh, uh, pie shaped pieces by the end of the chopping as you can see I'm repeating the same now I have smaller pieces then hold each piece in and emulsify it uh, and the place of emulsification is um, sobra capsular at the level of the iris which is a safe place as it is away from the endothelium of the cornea and from the posterior capsular back then rotation and complete emulsifying all the pieces in the same way the vertical chop technique is an excellent technique that can be particularly important for complicated cases such as bronzed cataract, white cataracts and the cases with weak zonules and when you have a capsulorexis tears and also when you have a smaller pupils and by the chop technique we apply much less force against the zonules because the FECO tip secures the nucleus and the manual instruments forces uh, are directed against each other and also the FECO power by this technique is reduced along with the stress on the zonule also is reduced and also reliance on the red reflex and when you have a dense bronze cataract also is decreased now I'm um, uh, injecting the OVD to form the bag to implant the IOL and removing the viscoelastic uh, and doing a hydration of the incisions the surgery went very well without any complication and thank you for watching.